What's up, Pokemosh Pit? My name is Toxic Imperialism, also known as Go for the Sub, and I upload Pokemon battles on YouTube, and also I upload live Pokemon battles and also other games. Uh, and according to my friend, I sound like the monotone love child of Weezy Waiter and JonTron. So, if that sounds appealing to you in some sort of way, then I'd appreciate you dropping by my channel and leaving a subscription, perhaps. That'd be pretty cool. But about the battle that I have here, it's an OU weather war kind of thing, so let's get straight into the team preview. I'm using Rain Offense with a mono attacking Jinx because pro, but the threats on his team, he has a lot of them. That uh, Landris, Special Landris kind of shits on this team because this team, I made it really fast. Reuniclus, if it's Calm Mind variant, or a Trick Room variant, actually, it'll be really difficult to deal with. And Kieran B hits like a truck, so I'll have to keep either Fortress or Jirachi alive for that. So, let's get on with the battle. I'm gonna lead off with my choice band in Scizor. He's gonna lead off with an Embalm Snow. I'm going to predict the switch straight off the bat and go for a U turn. And he switches into his own Scizor and I go straight into my Politoed to get up my rain and hopefully power off some powerful Hydro Pumps, or not. Hydro Pump doesn't exactly like me, but he U-turns, and because of that damage and the lack of Life Orb re Recoil, I can infer that he is Choice Banded. He switches into the Threat, the Landorus. I'm going to switch right back into my Scizor as he actually goes into his Obama Snow. Here I'm going to predict him to predict me to go for a U-turn and go straight for the bullet punch and there I win the weather war. Not bad. So he switches into Reuniclus. This thing is threatening and prepare to see the matchup of Jinx versus Reuniclus quite a bit in this battle because it happens quite a bit in this battle. The main reason I want Jinx alive is because Jinx is 3 hit KO'd by Focus Blast and has Lovely Kiss and this Reuniclus being asleep is going to be very crucial for this game. I switch into my Politoed to get up my rain to ensure that the weather war is mine and then for some reason I switch straight back into my Scizor. I'm going to go for a Choice Banded U-turn here to fire off powerful damage to anything that comes in. Even this Landorus doesn't exactly appreciate taking that. I'm gonna go into my Politoed. I am max HP. It doesn't exactly mean that I can really live in Earth Power, but he switches into his Kieran Black for some reason as that takes an Ice Beam, and here I thought that he would, like, Outrage or Dragon Claw, so I switch into my Sash Dug Trio to fire off some reversals, but he actually ends up going for a Hidden Power Fire, and I don't know if he has, like, a lot of defensive investment. Uh, as you can see, he crits me there, which actually kind of works because I go for a reversal and then a Sucker Punch this turn, but he lives. Like, is this person, like, have some defensive investment or something or is Kieran Black just having a lot of natural bulk I come to the well I think that he is locked into HP fire so I switch into my Politoed try to go for a hydro pump but of course it also misses he switches into his Starmie hits me with a thunderbolt this thing is basically death fodder for me right now as I hit him with an HP grass it looks like he's locked into thunderbolt perhaps so I'm going to switch into my specially defensive Jirachi, which tanks that for years. And he's going to switch straight into his Scizor as I Water Pulse and don't get the confusion because I never get the confusion with Water Pulse for some reason. I figure that with some prior damage being Water Pulse and Iron Head, a Thunder might be able to kill him. Although I am careful, so no. I do thankfully get the Paralysis, but he is going to go for the U-turn. Fire off some powerful damage and switch into his Landris and is able to easily kill me with an Earth Power. Because Landris is just way too powerful. I'm going to switch into my Scizor. This Scizor being alive is going to be very crucial for this Landris. I go for the Bullet Punch. I crit him. I ended up calculating that and it, and it did matter. So that kind of sucked. Because Special Landris would have basically raped my team at that point. I switch him in my Jinx as he switches into his Reuniclus. He makes some manly predictions right here, going into his four, this, going into his Scizor predicting my lovely kiss and then U-turning as I switch into my Fortress. I suppose I should have predicted the trick here because it was kind of obvious, but the fact that he switched into a Pokemon that could possibly have Rapid Spin into a thing that sets up hazards just kind of made me feel like going for Volt Switch, especially since he was weak to it. 
but because of the amount of health that his Pokemon are at, uh, Choice Banded Scizor's Bullet Punch will be able to KO many things. He switches, in, he switches into his Scizor as a Death Fodder. I apologize for my narration, I'm really tired right now. Uh, and he switches back into his Reuniclus. I go right back into my Jinx as he gets a critical hit with the Focus Blast. It doesn't really matter because Dry Skin plus Leftovers is going to kind of nullify that. I do miss this uh, Lovely Kiss, which again doesn't really matter because I suppose he forgets that Dry Skin exists and hits me with a Surf. And I hit him with an Ice Beam and he kills me. So I am up to around 95%. No, 99%, okay. Uh, at the end of this turn, he switches into this threat as I believe I switch into my Politoed as Death Fodder and he locks himself into Outrage which means I can easily go for the Bullet Punch with my Choice Banded Scizor and knock out that threat and his final threat God, how many times have I said threat in this video? His final Pokemon is Reuniclus which thankfully I've kept my Jinx alive for He unfortunately misses a lot of Focus Blasts but it doesn't really matter because like I said, uh, it is a 3 hit KO and also uh, I have leftovers, uh, dry skin, and also lovely kiss. So I'm going to not even mess around with substitute, go straight for nasty plot and uh, ice beam will be an easy 2 hit KO but I guess he becomes mad here and forfeits. So that was a good game, uh, just passing by, didn't even mention his name. Uh, it was a very fun game, and uh, yeah, it was just nice, fun times. So yeah, like I said, I'd appreciate it if you could check out my channel, just in case you actually care. And yeah, so um, this has been Toxic Imperialism, aka Go For The Sub, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.